Alright, let's be honest. Starting from scratch in Blender is rough. That blank scene just stares back at you, and you're not supposed to magically build a character or a creature from it? Yeah, not exactly the most inspiring way to start. That's where Figaro comes in. Figaro gives you an easier way to block out base meshes without jumping through the usual modeling steps. It lets you sketch out your forms fast and free, which makes getting your ideas into 3D way easier without all the usual technical hassle. You'll be shaping, connecting, growing limbs, and prepping for sculpting without even thinking about topology or anything like that. So before we get used to it, we gotta get it installed first. When you download Figaro, you'll get two zip files, one called the 3D Mage add on Wrangler.zip and another called Figaro.zip. To proceed, just go to Edit, Preferences, click the Add ons tab, hit Install, and pick the Add on Wrangler zip first. Enable it, then do the same for Figaro. Now, check if both are checked, hit Save Preferences, and you're done. Alright, let's actually use it. Once installed, Open the Figaro tab on the side of your 3D viewport and simply click Create Figaro Object, which will drop a little point at your 3D cursor. Now, switch into Edit Mode, which is where the fun starts. You can drag out edges to build your figure, arms, legs, and spine like sketching a 3D stickman. But it's not just lines, it's geometry with volume. And if you want to change the size of any point, just select it, Press Shift R and move your mouse to adjust. It's super quick and feels way more natural than box modeling or extruding cubes. As you build, you're actually shaping the form in real time, so you don't need to think about topology or modifiers. That's all being taken care of in the background. And once your structure is looking solid, jump back into object mode. Now you've got two choices. Hit Convert to Mesh to turn it into a clean, editable mesh or go for Convert to Voxel Mesh if you're planning to sculpt. That one gives you a solid block version with smooth geometry, ready to sculpt on top of. And you can change the voxel size to control detail, turn on smooth shading, and even tweak adaptivity to keep things lighter in flat areas. It's all in the side panel. And if you don't want to build everything from scratch, Figaro has templates too. You can drop in a basic humanoid shape or any preset you've saved. Just go to the Add menu, choose Figaro template, and you've got a full form to start with, including creatures like a dog, a horse, a spider, a human, or even just a hand if that's all you need. Honestly, if you're working on characters and you're like me, not the best at starting them from nothing, this is the way to go. This is probably my favorite way to approach human character work because it gives you a strong foundation right away so you can just focus on shaping and adjusting without stressing the base. And on top of that, if you have your own style or specific look you'd like to start with, you can create your own templates too and save them for later. Now, let's get back to the features. The add-on also comes with a vertex split tool, which is one of those little features you'll end up using all the time. If you've got a vertex connected to just one edge, press Shift U and it'll split that point into a new limb branching out in the direction you're looking, which is super useful for adding things like horns, wings, tails, or just when you want to change direction mid-build. Figaro also lets you customize how everything looks in the viewport. You can switch colors, assign materials, or just make the model easier to see while you're building. Also, under Geometry Options, you can fine-tune the shape, change how many segments and rings wrap around each limb, enable smooth shading, and control how soft or sharp things feel. And when you're happy with your build and ready to commit, Figaro makes it super easy. It's all geometry nodes under the hood, but you don't need to deal with any of that. Just hit apply and the whole thing gets converted into a standard mesh, ready for whatever comes next. Sculpting, detailing, retopo, whatever your workflow is. So yeah, that's Figaro. It's fast, it's flexible, and it takes away all that startup stress so you no longer have to just fight Blender just to get an idea off the ground. So if you want to try it out, grab it from superhivemarket.com slash products slash Figaro. And if you want to dive deeper or explore more features, check out the full docs over at figaro3d.com slash docs, which is super clean, detailed, 
and easy to follow. Go play with it, block out something weird, and see how it fits into your workflow. Thanks for hanging out, and as always, peace out.